In this lesson, we will examine a technique for multiplying two binomials, such as the ones shown here. To multiply pairs of binomials, we will use something called the FOIL method. FOIL is an acronym that stands for first, outer, inner, and last. Here's how the method works. When we are multiplying two binomials, our goal is to multiply each of the two terms in one binomial by each of the two terms in the other binomial. The FOIL method is a systematic way to perform these multiplications. So we begin by multiplying the first term in each binomial. Here, x times x equals x squared. Next, we multiply the two outer terms. As you can see, there are four terms altogether on the left-hand side here, and these two highlighted terms are the outer terms. So here, x times positive 7 equals positive, or plus, 7x. Next, we multiply the two inner terms. Here, positive 2 times positive x is equal to positive, or plus, 2x. And finally, we multiply the last term in each binomial. Here, positive 2 times positive 7 equals positive, or plus, 14. At this point, we can simplify this expression if we recognize that 7x and 2x are like terms. As such, we can combine them to get 9x. So when we expand and simplify x plus 2 times x plus 7, we get x squared plus 9x plus 14. Now let's expand the second product. When we multiply the first terms here, we get positive 6y squared. When we multiply the outer terms, we get negative 15y. When we multiply the inner terms, we get negative 8y. And when we multiply the last terms, we get positive 20. To simplify, we'll recognize that negative 15y and negative 8y are like terms, which means we can combine them to get negative 23y. Okay, one more example. First, we'll multiply the first terms to get positive 2x squared. Then we'll multiply the outer terms to get negative 14xy. Then we'll multiply the inner terms to get positive xy. And finally, we will multiply the last terms to get negative 7y squared. To simplify, we combine these two like terms to get negative 13xy. Okay, before we end this lesson, there are two important points to make. One point involves the binomial a plus b, all squared. A common mistake here is to conclude that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus b squared when these two are not equal. Similarly, a minus b all squared is not equal to a squared minus b squared. To find the value of a plus b squared, we must first recognize that this is equal to a plus b times a plus b. From here, we can apply the FOIL method to see that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We can use the same technique to show that a minus b all squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now these two products are known as special products and they will come up later in the module. For the moment, however, please notice that in these two special products, the first term is a square and the last term is a square. We will learn the importance of this later on. Okay, to summarize, in this lesson, we learned how to apply the FOIL method to multiply two binomials.